it's Keyshawn Gaming. So we're back in this world, of course, this lobby, and pretty much some people have left the lobby. I would say we're about 33 at 33. So I will be dropping the game code in the comments. I know you shouldn't do that because you guys will know where I have troops and stuff, but to keep things interesting, why not? So go ahead and join and plus you'll be at a five day disadvantage but like come on if you want to join join i'll drop the game code in the comments and comment who you are if you do join but let's go into what we are doing so of course we have a couple of troops here um just sitting here on our capital and and also on this city we did invade libya like i said and pretty much we captured this city, but we failed to capture this city. I guess I didn't send enough troops. I don't know what's there really. So I'm a little concerned of why my troops got beat pretty much. So I'm thinking of sending a pretty much a squadron here to patrol. And then later on, I will be sending my squadron to where my boats are. Yes, our boats did get done. And now I have them attacking these these stack of four troops over here. Um, of what I know, troops do, don't have any defense against boats. And if I check my boats, no, I don't want gold. If I check my boats here, um, they do 1.5 against troops. Not that much, but a little bit of chip damage on those soldiers are good enough. And then once I'm done patrolling over here, this one city in Libya, I will um, send my squad drone over there to kind of attack those set of Israel troops over there. Um, also, it looks like Morocco has expanded into Algeria, which is very interesting. So we're definitely probably going to clash here. I'm going to say he's probably going to take Libya's capital before me. I hope not. I hope he goes straight for... Um, Tunisia's I don't know that name I'm sorry um cap capital instead of Libya's but if he's smart he'd probably go for Libya because I'm going there so he is gonna have to deal with whatever weird um level one combat outposts they have here but that's fine um Turkey and Greece our coalition members have expanded Turkey has expanded into Bulgaria let's see where he's sending his troops he's sending his troops to this city over here also with these troops over here um greece has also expanded even more into serbia hasn't taken serbia's capital quite yet so we're pretty good on that front it looks like greece will be taking over serbia italy still is over here i think they may be inactive because they just have um army bases but i may be wrong they be may be spending more um stuff into their research because if you look at where we are come we all have one level army bases and stuff. And Turkey, if you go over here, isn't pretty much the same. Oh, he's now building level two. I haven't even started doing that yet. So we'll definitely be researching some things today and maybe um, adding more things. As you can tell in the afternoon, I didn't really want to record quite then. So I added some more stuff. I added another Corvette and more infiltrary because I just felt we were running a little bit low on them. So I've just um, kept um, adding more. Um, I did join um, two recon vehicles and two infiltrary together. I'm going to go for this city again, but I will send my squad drone there um, first because I want to make sure I get it this time. I can't just be funneling a bunch of troops into a black hole pretty much because I need those, especially if Morocco and us are going to meet together. Well, our new coalition member, I didn't talk to him I didn't um, talk about him too much the last episode, but he's gone up here, taken some of this land, which is perfectly fine with me. And he's gone a little bit into Z Zimbabwe, looks like. But I'm a little worried about that because Nibia has actually, I think that's how you say it. Correct me in the comments if um, I'm saying it wrong. Um, has gone into Mozambique and also has taken this little city up here also. I didn't even notice that and until I was just searching around the map and I noticed noticed it oh and angoli has sent troops in here because mozambique and angoli are the same color um so i was a little confused but yeah angoli has expanded into there too he's taken one of mozambique cities it looks like they have split up um some mozambique 
which is very interesting. Yeah, he's yeah, he's expanded. Oh, that's Mozambique, but yeah, Angolia and them have been working together. There's definitely some big th big threats in Africa because with all this land up to grab, because a lot of like all of these cities are inactive. So dr I'm dropping the code. You guys can play as one of them. No, you can't join my coalition because we're already full. But please don't attack me. But <laughs> you get what I mean. Um, there's some cities open up here, and I think there's some, in, maybe some in um. Asia and Europe as well because the lobby's only half full so some people I think left um Germany has I think Germany's still active I would have to go check the next episode but I think before they um the city was still occupied by the Netherlands but I think they've gone into that city now but they haven't built much I would say they've built oh, enough but not that much um is Poland active no Poland isn't active but um Turkey looks like he's gonna go for this little piece of land and city over here. Ukraine, I forget if they had the city before. I'm not too sure, I would have to go look. Um, you guys have been watching it probably a little bit better than me, right? So um, I think um, Ukraine did take the city just now, but um, yeah, um, Russia I think is active because they took that city, I haven't actually looked. Yes, Russia is active, so a little scary. Hopefully they don't just barge right through into the middle of Europe. I hope not. Um, Iran and Turkey here. Uh, Turkey looks like he's done some lots of good uh, land grabbing, making sure Iran didn't get all of those cities that Iraq has to offer, kind of blocking him here, but and Saudi Arabia kind of blocking him here with this territory. So he doesn't have much of a choice. He would have to go up through here. And I don't know if that's a route that he can take. So looks very interesting so far. It's, our, we have a threat over here and we have a big threat over here. It's going to be interesting how these two big um, nations um, come into our coalition. Hopefully we'll be able to defend them. Oh yeah, I didn't talk too much about this. Um, we got our anti-air here. I'm going to put it over my capital. I always put um, anti-air over to my capital just in case if any of my planes are sitting on my capital. So. You know, you don't want um, any of them really attacking like that, right? So, because your planes are very vulnerable when they're on the ground. I haven't done too much researching, so I'm definitely going to have to do that. So let's see what we can research. We have a good enough amount of rare materials, I would say. Let's just go through what I have researched so far. Armored fighting vehicle, I may research into that just depends what I need. Level 2 army bases, those cost a lot. I want something that's cost efficient. I haven't researched this surprisingly, so I think I'm going to research um, maybe a strike fighter. Let's see. No, I don't know how I feel about level 2 air bases. Um, we definitely have some helicopters that we can also do as well. I can invest in into air, but I wanted to do more of this. So I think I'm going to research a frigate and also research something i should have done earlier which is air superiority um but we don't have enough but we have good enough money so i'm gonna buy some let's just buy this and as you can tell everyone's desperate for supplies everyone's wanting some but yeah i can't offer up any of the ones that i have because i'm already super low can't wait until i get a supply city i need one desperately oh i did take this one so i'm it's gonna take time for me to build up the cash and um supplies itself to annex the city but once i do uh my production will hopefully go up and it's operating at 25 percent giving me 225 so that's good if i can take the supply city which one it's this one over here if i can take it oh, we will be good but once again israel's putting up quite a big fight i think they're act quite active again and they've started building all of this stuff i think they uh joined halfway through i think it became inactive and then someone just built a bunch of crap on it so um it's definitely going to be um hard to try to get all this stuff back so i'm i don't know how i feel about stretching myself too thin here because i really don't want to do that um i think i'm going to if i want to make sure i get that city so i'm going to go attack this city here and make sure i get it this time because i can't just lose it 
because once again, Morocco and pro approaching very quickly. I want to take out Israel before I have to go into a, a war with Morocco. So we're looking like we may be in a little bit of a bind here. Um, Saudi Arabia has been a little inactive. I don't know I may kick them. <laughs> I may just kick them um, if they're not active, but they have level two stuff here. I think they are active. Never mind. Um, I think they are. I'll have to message them and make sure they're active. Um, he doesn't have much troops so i want to make sure he's actually active because we need all the help we can get they're going more up into europe which is a little concerning hopefully they'll have enough troops if possible to help me um that's why i got kenya in the coalition as well so hopefully he'll start expanding more this way um i'll text messaged him um well message him on the game um right after this and actually ask him i say that but i don't do it but i'm going to um obviously we have local industries here that i've built on a special rares thing over here wonder if we have any supply ones no we don't yeah and the next supply one is his capital so I, I don't know if i'll be able to get um libya's capital and if i do i know i'm gonna have to defend against him so i don't know it depends at this point we've only built 31% up. I'm probably going to take this land grab over here and then send it all the way back up, back to this city here. And I'm going to build a airfield here um, so I can travel between them easier. So, and I think, I, yes, I also built a air, air base, airfield here, which are very important so you can fly back quickly, especially in longer games like when it's in real time you're gonna want to do that um i think we're on episode four but it says um yeah one times gain 24 hours yeah i think our episodes are my my schedule hasn't been the greatest but we'll start uploading these a little bit earlier but yeah it looks like we're heading to a good start so far um greece has done well turkey and me have done well so far um let me research that stuff now. I've bought it. Do we have enough? No, we still don't have enough supplies. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, I used the rest of my money. So we'll research a little bit later. Because, like, I couldn't research anything anyways, like... And that's just the air superiority. I guess we could have researched this. But that's fine. We'll build up the money quick anyways. Um, frigates, are they much that much better? Yeah, they're much better against boats, but not much better against people and tanks. And they are good against air, but I think we're okay for air for now. I don't think anyone's attacking us by air quite yet. Um, I don't have any submarines yet. I don't know if I should get those. Tell me if I should get submarines. I don't know. Um, I've yet to actually um, research an infiltrate officer either just because we've been so low on supplies we've been lacking so badly um, I doubt these guys have any um, supplies really on hand for me to use Turkey I think only had one supply city and took over one even though he has expanded he hasn't expanded into many supply cities neither has um, yeah neither neither has um, Greece either. They only have two supply cities just like me. So we're low on supplies. So that's pretty much it guys. You won't want to miss, miss the next episode because I'm pretty sure the start of the clash between me and Morocco um, in between Libya will start and I definitely think our attack on Israel will, will definitely go deeper into Israel. It's very hard to invade them. At least they have all these cluster of cities. So I definitely think I'm going to send about two more troops up there now because I'm not going to worry about the rogue state. They don't have it. Rogue state does. Don't care. Um, if they start um, going down into these provinces, I'll take them out. But right now I'm going to leave them for now and I'm just going to expand a little bit more. So I'm going to send two up here. Not tag, let me just press move. Move them up. Yeah, move them to this city. Should take them about five hours. So it shouldn't take them too long. Add them to this recon vehicle. Our recon vehicle's 
badly damaged to be quite honest. Um, I may make a field hospital right here. Let's see, do we have enough money for that? Um, no, we're low on cash, but we'll get that cash quickly. Yeah, we get it per hour. I'll update that a little bit later. So don't miss the next episode. That was It's Keyshawn Gaming. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share this with people that you know also like these games. Like if your, your friend likes Call of War, they'll probably like this playthrough because it Conflict of Nations, kind of the same of Call of War and Supremacy 1914. Tell me if you would like me to play Call of War or Supremacy 19, uh, 1914 after this game. But I think this game is looking to be very juicy. I'll drop the code in for this game in the in the comments. So please join the game. Join anyone. Um, you can't join my coalition because it's full, but still feel free to play and comment down below what country you are if you have joined so or even message me in the game so that's it don't forget to subscribe hit the like button share it i'm out